All right, so what you know about this. This is the Modifiers Performance Systems 1999 Honda Civic SI Series 2. Okay, so as part of my diecast collection um, in the early 2000s, this is copyright, trademarked, whatever, has it printed on it the year 2002. I started seeing these, Series 1 and Series 2. I do have some Series 1, but I opened a lot of those because, you know, I was 17 at the time. And I was into this kind of stuff, the Sport Compacts, the Hondas. Of, I'm a Honda guy. So um, I started collecting these, and some of these actually made it, and I didn't cut them up. But they were about like $13, $10, something like that. And I'm sure they go for you know upwards of $100 or several hundred dollars for some of them these days. This is what you had in the first series. Um, you had these same cars. You had the Honda Civics, and then you had... Uh, two Integras, and then you had two, Mitsub <laughs> two Mitsubishi, that's a mouthful, isn't it? Uh, Eclipse GSXs, the all-wheel drive model. In the first series, it's the same exact thing, except there was a white one, a black one, and I can't remember the Integra colors and the uh, Eclipse colors. I'm pretty sure there was a black Eclipse. But what's neat about these is they're screwed together. And as you can see on this picture here, all those little screws actually come apart with this screwdriver right here. The back end was supposed to be for the tires, but that really didn't work well. But the tires snapped on, so you could take the stock wheels and tires off. You could put these branded TSW 17s on, and then it came with a ground designs, Black Widow body kit, had the side skirts, Sparco seats, a bunch of stickers so you could race it out. Uh, and what I'm really, you know, proud of is the fact that I kind of recognized that this might be a, I don't know what you would call it, but kind of like a cult hit later on, or, you know, they just, it was in a flash too. It was just a couple years. So this was what the first ones were, right? And they, they come, I, I got these at Walmart, like the local toy store, things like that. So we'll put that to the side. And this, I just grabbed from my stash to show you the different kinds they had. It's a little dusty, but this was series nine. And they went to a smaller form factor they started bringing in more models and brands. This one's obviously a Toyota MR2. Um, they had uh, Ford Focus. In the first series, they actually had some trucks, some or the first kind like this, like this one here in that shape box. They had Accords, they had Yukons, Escalades, but I kind of focused on the ones that I really liked. They did end up having some New Edge uh, bodied Mustangs in this series here, but as as you see from the one, or as you saw the one before. These are all name brand parts. We have a V Racing, which that was kind of a thing at the time, rear wing, Caminari, full paint match body kit, it says. We have the Gretti exhaust. You can see it in there. It's kind of hiding under the sticker. And then we have a, a Momo seats this time. We have an actual nitrous bottle that you would take the passenger seat out to replace. It, you would take the passenger seat out and you would replace it with the uh, nitrous bottle. And there's a bunch of extra screws here. You had a different style screwdriver for this one. It did not have the wheel thing, but it had um, it was a little easier to turn, a little larger. And then this one came with 18 inch. And these were almost like a higher res type thing. A lot more detail on those axis rims with the branded tires. And then on the back, you'll see the same thing as we saw on the other one. The breakdown, all the screws and everything. Actually, you know what's really funny about this? I just noticed this. I'm probably I probably noticed it previously. But since it's an MR2, all they did was take the body and switch it with this Honda Civic one because everything else on the graphic is the same. It actually shows a single cam D-series Honda engine for the MR2. And of course, if you're in the know, the MR2's engine is in the back. So this is a hilarious error. Another weird thing about these I just saw, it is a 143rd scale model which it gives it a weird size. It's larger than Hot Wheels, but smaller than like the Dub City or the Jadas and things like that. So finally, just for my introduction today into the channel of some of my modifiers collection, this was another variant. You got a larger box. I got this one for $5 after the fact at like a Big Lots when things were being closed out or whatever. And you get um, the 143rd scale car that I was talking about, but then um, 
for some reason they felt it was necessary to come out with a Hot Wheels sized or Matchbox or whatever your flavor is, but the 1 64th scale. This one did have some removable parts like the wheels and the tires here. And I really didn't have too many of those, but I guess it was kind of neat to see these deluxe sets here. Um, let's look at the back. Still have that same graphic and they're showing This is a Civic, right? Yeah. So they're showing a Civic, but then on this graphic right here, this is an Integra with an Integra bumper, but a Civic engine. So I really didn't didn't realize that at the time. That's that's kind of funny. But over here you see all the major partners that they were working with. You know, all the manufacturers and then all these parts manufacturers. And my, my collection is extensive of modifiers. I hope to make a lot more videos in the future, but I wanted to show, you know, first of my Hot Wheels stuff. I started, started with something new I bought just at Walmart the other day, did an unboxing. Then I showed one of my first uh, Super Treasure Hunt sets. And then now I'm showing you guys the, the modifiers. But what I was zooming in on here, trying to, uh, for the Series 2, you had the Civic Coupe, which is what this is. You had a 2000 Honda. Uh, 2000 Acura Tegra Type R, then you have the Mitsubishi, but I do actually have, I think I have the Mitsubishi, but I also have an S10, which was weird. It was the extreme style with the body kit and things like that, but some of these I have opened, well actually a lot of them I have opened. I'll show you guys some loose stuff, and I even did some customs and things like that, but that will be another video. So I hope this was a good introduction into these, if maybe you guys have never seen these before. Um, maybe, maybe I showed you something that you didn't know about. Um, they do come on eBay sometimes, uh, very few and far between. People don't really want to part with them. Um, my collection is kind of spoken for. I have two young boys and I think they want to uh, possess a lot of this stuff someday. So I'm not going to sell that out from under them, you know what I mean? My dad passed a lot of stuff on to me, so so I want to take care of them in that same uh, aspect. But that is all for this video today. Like I said, I hope I introduced you guys to this stuff. And if you guys happen to have some of the stuff out there yourself, please let me know in the comments and uh, you know tell me how many you have or what else you have, whatever you think is cool in your diecast collection. Um, hope you guys liked the video. Please leave me a like down below if you did. Subscribe for more of this kind of content. And mainly I'm a Forza Horizon 5 channel where I post daily uh, stuff on there. So if you're interested in cars or video games, this is a great place to be. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.